Every single month on this YouTube channel, we do a $100 gift card giveaway to speakeepshop.com. Now, how do you enter? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, and just like that, you're entered. At the end of the month, I will choose a random subscriber to win the $100, so good luck to all of you guys. However, if you don't want to wait until the end of the month and you want to buy some cubes right now, then just use my discount code ENCODED for 5% off every speaker shop order. Alright, let's get right here in the video now, shall we? Alright, what's guys keeping coded? And in this video, we are just gonna be messing around with the GAN robot. So ever since I unveiled the GAN robot on the channel, you guys have been asking me to experiment with this robot in ways that you're not normally supposed to do. And so this video is just me addressing all those concerns. So let's just get right into it now, shall we? So the first question that you guys had about the GAN robot is how does it deal with just doing a U move? So as you guys know, on the GAN robot, it can turn the bottom piece and then all four sides. However, it will not be able to turn the top piece because there's just really nothing there. So there you go, the top layer, I just did a U move, and let's see how it does it. Yeah, so uh, not exactly the most efficient way. Let me show that again. Just do one U move there, put it inside the GAN robot, and then click it in place and press start solving. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, in order to do one U move, it takes like 10 moves for the GAN robot. That being said though, I'm pretty impressed because I don't think I'll be able to do it at all whatsoever. So uh, props for the GAN robot. Alright, the next thing that you guys have been asking is what happens if you just don't put a cube inside? So as you can see on the cube timer app, what if I just scramble this cube and then just set it aside, press confirm, and start solving? Well... As you can see, it just gave me an error. It did the first two moves and detected that there was nothing there, uh, so we couldn't trick it that way. So yeah, in order for the Gen Robot to work, we actually do need to have something inside there to actually turn. Alright, next. What happens if we just put a normal cube? Uh, so let's just try putting a GAN error M inside there, clicking it in place, and see if it could turn it, so... Yeah, so it couldn't exactly clip on, uh, so you kind of like locked up there. I think it's safe to say that that did not exactly work. And now the last thing that you guys asked about the GAN robot is what happens if you just like take apart half of the cube? Uh, so as you can see, I'm just going to take apart like the top layer and then put that inside the GAN robot. So there you go. There is our disassembled GAN 36 i inside. And let's just see what happens. So start solving. <laughs> Uh, yep, I don't think uh, that exactly worked very well. Alright, so anyways, that concludes the video. Those are all your GAN robot questions answered. Some turned out to be pretty interesting, others turned out to be pretty anticlimactic. However, that being said, I hope your questions are answered. If you liked what you saw on this channel, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. That's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.